here with Krista. Krista is a 20 year old captive bred black leopard that will never be able to go back into the wild but she is a great ambassador for conservation because she played in so many movies and she touched so many hearts. Each week we'll be traveling in different spots around the world to look at different conservation projects and work with endangered species. It is very important to emphasize that both are just as important conservation and captive breeding if we want future generations to enjoy and see these animals alive. How old is Eli? Uh, Eli is what, two and a half now I think? Almost three. And all these animals come from captive situations? They're, yeah, no, it's captive just, bred? they never take them out. They haven't taken chimps out of the wilds in probably 30 years. 30 years, okay. And then you guys usually leave them with the mom a certain time, and then, and then when they're older, you, they, they just come to you guys, this is what you do? Yeah, they're raised with, with mom for the first year, year and a half, and then we'll take them and they'll, so they can get bonded to us for what we do. And we do film work and, and teach them various things. All in a positive fashion. Eli. Police enforcement, yes. Eli, come here. Come here. And then so, usually what happens is I think one of your trainers, Keith, takes them home. And oh, then, yeah. And then uh, and they raise with, the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with his kids. Keith is a surrogate mother. Surrogate mother, so. yes. <laughs> uncle, uncle. Oh, uncle. He, yeah, yeah. He's not nursing them, is he? No, no. Okay. But okay. Um, they, like, they like these candies. So it's entertainment, isn't it? Yeah. How many chimps do you still have right now? Because I know you had a couple of them in the past. Yeah, well, we have three chimps. Three chimps. Right yeah. Yeah. And then these guys, these guys kind of be, become like, like, a, like a family member, correct? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if you want to have a, animals that are comfortable around people and stuff, you have to. I mean, they eat dinner with us. They have breakfast with us. You know, they go for car rides. They they sit in the seat next to us. They wear their seat belt. <laughs> so, so they're pretty accustomed. Stay down. Sit, sit down. They're pretty accustomed to travel. You get and one. And do they prefer time. certain people, or do they go to everybody? Do they prefer certain? We people? socialize them with a lot of people, so yeah. they're comfortable. I mean, you can see he's comfortable with you. Yeah, totally. They're comfortable with everybody. So, what happens with them uh, when they get older? What until what time? We have other uh, chimps that we socialize these chimps together all the time. So, right now, it's this one's socialized with two other chimps. So yeah. it's easy to mix them in with a group. Group exactly. I mean, we, we think about, you know, past what we do with them it, on to their future because they, uh, chimps live alone. I know, that sounds like they're all excited. 50 years, 50 plus yeah. years. Mm -hmm. And what happens after you guys retire them? How, how it happens? They're after? usually socialized into a group of chimps. chimps. And you know, also animal organizations, some animal organizations tell, say that you guys are, are abusing them, beating them up and being cruel with them. and punish them, put them in cold oh, places, yeah, yeah, yeah. all this, all this We, we hit them with jelly beans. Jelly beans, yes. <laughs> Do it. Oh, that's very good. You must know something else. <laughs> what is this? A baby alligator. Yes, it is. A baby wow. alligator. Yes. Wow. He's, he's three months old. Wow. He's going to get huge when he gets big. These guys can eat people. When they were fully grown, this is a baby. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch this this alligator one by one, but so everybody comes and gets to touch the alligator. Very good, in America. Anybody else want?